Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Is the Federal Reserve hurting renewable energy stocks? Well, maybe that's not their intent, but that is absolutely the impact that we're seeing with rising interest rates. Over the last year, we've seen a historic rise in interest rates, and that's starting to impact the value of renewable energy stocks, not only companies that build or own projects, but the suppliers as well. So I want to dig into what that impact is, why interest rates are so important to renewable energy companies, and what to think about these companies long term. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And I want to first just walk through why interest rates are so important to renewable energy stocks. So these are assets that are built to last 30, 40, 50 years. And a lot of times when a solar or wind farm is built, they sign a contract with a utility to buy the electricity that they produce for the next 20 or 30 years. That contract is often what gives a baseline for the value of the project itself. So if a project costs a million dollars to build and the discounted value of the 30 year contract is $1.5 million, well, you have a $500,000 profit on a million dollar investment as a developer. But if you sign that contract and now interest rates and now those cash flows are less valuable and your cash flows are only worth $900,000, now you lost $100,000 on that million dollar investment. Let's just walk through an example of exactly how this works. So let's think about a project that churns out $100,000 in revenue per year. That's a contract that's signed. Maybe it's owned by a yield co like Brookfield Renewables or Hannon Armstrong. These are the companies that finance renewable energy projects. If you have a contract for $100,000 for 30 years and a 4% interest rate, so this might be a common interest rate, let's say a year ago, that project is going to be worth $1.7 million. So as long as your costs are lower than $1.7 million from an all-in cost basis, you're building that project profitably. Maybe you take out 80% debt, so you're taking out about $1.4 million in debt. So you have to put about $350,000 into that project from an equity perspective. I think that's a good way to think about it because that's how a lot of these projects are financed. But now as interest rates rise, if you have to discount those cash flows at 8% instead of 4%, now the present value of those cash flows is $1.1 million. So we've gone from $1.7 million to $1.1 million. If you bought that project with 80% debt at a $1.7 million valuation, let's say 12 or 18 months ago, Today, if you tried to sell that project, you wouldn't even be able to cover the debt that you have. That's the situation that a lot of these companies are in. The asset that they have on the balance sheet is not worth the debt that they have backing those assets. A lot of times what investors are buying is actually the dividend. So if you think about a lot of these renewable energy companies that own projects, you're really buying the dividend. But now you have the challenge of the asset itself isn't worth what it once was. But also when that debt needs to be refinanced, it's going to be more costly than it was in the past. The cash flow that was used for dividends may not be what it once was. And so maybe the dividend itself isn't going to be as sustainable as it was in the past. So it really depends on how these companies are financed, what the duration of the debt backing a lot of these assets is. Now, if you go further upstream and think about the suppliers going into the market, this would be companies like First Solar, Solar Edge, Enphase. Canadian Solar, Array Technologies, the companies that are supplying components to developers, they're not necessarily developing projects themselves, they're going to face a lot of pressure because now suddenly the developer that once had a $1.7 million asset now has a $1.1 million asset, they're going to say, how am I going to cut costs to make this project profitable? And they're going to squeeze those suppliers as much as they possibly can. That's really where we're sitting in this market is that higher interest rates makes owning these long duration assets. And that's what a renewable energy project is. It's an asset that produces value and revenue for 30, 40, 50 years, but that's a long duration asset. And those long duration assets go down rapidly in value as interest rates go up. So this may not be the intention of the Federal Reserve, but this is the impact that we have on solar energy, on wind energy right now. That's one reason to be really cautious about a lot of these companies. It may be great to look at one of these names and see a high dividend yield based on past performance, but in the future, the operations may get a little bit more challenging. Something to keep in mind. But what do you think about renewable energy stocks right now? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Love to hear where your head is at right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.